What's good guys, it's TSG. In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at some of the massive leaks that Aaron's dropped in Discord about Iluvatars. Let's not waste any time and jump straight into it. This right here is by far the biggest leak that he dropped in Discord, and that is the UI for the collection album for the Iluvatars. As we can see, it's very minimalistic, it's very clean, and the biggest thing that it reminds me of is those binders that we used to have when we were kids that we used to keep our Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards in. Personally, I will admit I wasn't that much of a Pokemon card collector, but man, I was crazy with Yu-Gi-Oh. So just looking at this makes me feel like it's just a digital version of those binders that honestly, back in the day, I got all these feelings about trying to fill up with all these cards. So it's very exciting to see where it's at and the potential of what we can do with it once we get our hands on it. So diving in a little bit deeper, what can we see on this page? What we've got here on the Squiz collection page is the common, uncommon, and rare version of Squiz, Octius, and Ophisto. Ophisto is one hell of a name. It is. It sounds a little bit wrong, but let's go with it. So right now we can see the common, uncommon, and rare. So this is actually massive for those of us that know a little bit about the expressions that have been talked about previously. So all Iluvatars are going to have three different expressions. Originally, we thought they were just going to be a random expression each, but now we know that we're going to have a common, uncommon, and rare expression. So they are going to be rarities in expressions. One question that I do have by looking at this page is right here with Ophisto, this hollow. If we have multiple of the same Iluvatar, do we get to choose which one is shown? Is it the hollow that's automatically shown? How that works, we're unsure of, but I'm excited to see what that looks like. And yo, I just need to point out, again, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer. The quality's not gonna be that good, but this Ophisto looks sick, man. It looks sick. And I'll point something out right now, and we'll kind of see it later in the video as well. You can kind of see this little rainbow-esque effect on it, and these little sparkles. We're gonna see more of that later, but that is how you define it as a hollow. That's how you can tell, distinguish, between a hollow and a non-hollow. Another thing that I really wanted to add on here is something that I've pushed for in the back end, and that is instead of just collection albums, is to have a personal album as well, like a personal page. So for example, the way you'd have your Pokemon binder and have all of your rarest ones on the first page to show up the moment you open it up, I think something like that would be sick to have for yourself. So if you wanna check out what I've got, I've got my page where I can choose my rarest ones, the ones that I think look the coolest, that represent me the most, all on one page, right? So the TSG collection page, it doesn't give you any bonuses, nothing like that, but more like a MySpace page. Something like your top 10 best friends in MySpace, something like that, but your top 10 Iluvatars that you get to choose yourself. Let's say you had nine hollow ramfires and you decked out your entire page with nine hollow ramfires. Like, I mean, that's a little bit of a flex and I think that'd be cool to give the community to be able to show that that's what they have. The next thing that we're looking at was something that was leaked from Roger on Twitter. Roger brings up on Twitter that they've revamped some of the backgrounds and this is what some of them look like. And I have to say they look incredible. When I look at this, what gets me excited is the potential of the possibilities that we can do. Like the chances of us getting two identical Iluvatars that we're gonna see in the community is just so slim. There are billions of possibilities and it's just gonna be sick to see complementary colors backgrounds with the Iluvatars and the accessories. Something like this cucker right here with the purple background, the purple bow tie, it, like just the hat, everything. Like this looks sick. Something like this or even potentially something with a massive contrast. I don't know how that would look, but again, it'll be cool to test it out and see what the community actually comes up with and what the possibilities are. Something that I do want to bring up again, like I mentioned before about the hollows, you can kind of see this one here looks very plain. This one here has these sparkles and that rainbow line across right there. So this cucker is definitely a hollow. We can see the same thing here with this atlas. You can see the atlas is usually a more bluish color, but just based on this right here, you can see it's slightly greenish. So hollows do change the color of the alluvials as well. And you can kind of see it just here on his arm. Again, that rainbow effect that I kind of mentioned, you can see that happening right here, plus the sparkles. So that's a hollow right there. So when you do start collecting these, make sure you keep your eye out on that and you can tell quickly if it's a hollow or a non-hollow. Looking at these ones right here, I think this Lynx is by far my favorite. I'm a massive fan of ones without crazy amounts of accessories, so I think that Lynx just looks clean. I think this Lynx with a nice pipe or a nice joint or something like that with a hat, like even a sideways cap, would look pretty sick. The next thing that was leaked were these tier zero Iluvatars. The thing that blows me away with Illuvium is just how much care and dedication they take for every single thing in their studio, in their game, 
everything that they put out to the public. We've seen it with the tier zero Iluvatars being free to play. A lot of people thought maybe they'd throw it away, they'd put less time, make it not look as, as clean as everything else. But when we got our hands on it and we've seen it, they look incredible. And it's the same thing that we're seeing here with these Iluvatars as well. The thing that I think is really cool about these is the fact that they're going to look different and we're gonna have a different variety and a variance of the same exact Alluvial. A perfect example of this is here with the Grokos. You've got the Earth Groko and the Air Groko and they're looking different ways. They're gonna have different expressions and it's gonna look really, really cool. Personally, by looking at these, Straight up the bat, I'm not gonna lie. I used to think that I was a fan of the Delcora Louvatars. I'm slightly backing away now. I'm not, it doesn't hit the same way. It maybe doesn't hit the same way the Doka hits, but it, it is what it is. Personally, out of all of these, Groco is just okay. It kind of just seems chill. Volante, chill. For me, the two, like Flesh is kind of cool, but the one that really stands out is the Atipo, especially this Nature Atipo. I love, absolutely love, this thing on the nose, the design, it just looks slick. And again, we can look at the, the rainbow effect and the sparkles. This one right here is a hollow. Right here, we can see the rainbow effect and the sparkles, another hollow. So again, it's going to be very important when you guys start collecting these to be able to differentiate between the hollows and non-hollows. The next thing that Aaron dropped in the Discord is this right here. He mentions that Illuvatars are actually going to have something called power and power levels. He mentions that it's going to be very important. We're not sure exactly why it's going to be important, how they work and what they do, but it's something that we can look forward to. He does mention the way to increase the power level of an Illuvatar is via its accessories, the rarity, its expression. There are a whole bunch of different ways to increase that power level, but for what reason, we are yet to see. With this being the case, I was worried about one thing, and honestly, with Illuvatars, I like keeping mine plain. I don't want to overly accessorize and maybe mismatch a whole bunch of things that don't look good just to get its power level up. That's not me. And I'm sure if that's the way that I feel, I'm sure there are going to be many others that feel that way too. Sky did bring the question up with Aaron regarding, yo, what happens if we don't want to overly accessorize them? What happens then? This isn't confirmed, but Aaron does mention a possibility of potentially blank accessories that have high power levels. So, Personally, I think this is a great idea because it's just a blank slate. So imagine going onto the marketplace and seeing that the highest power level Illuvatar has no accessories at all. Then you start to wonder, yo, what's going on with this? Why is that? You look into it and it's got blank accessories for each slot, which means that you can never ever customize it again, but its power level is through the roof. So something like that to me makes it super appealing the same way again, like we have supermodels that don't have tattoos or have to cover it up to give it that clean look. It's like that pristine look, right? So I think that having something like that would be incredible because like I said, personally, I would hate to have to put a whole bunch of random things that don't look good together just to get a power level boost to win whatever that power level game is. Aaron does mention that there is actually a change going forward that we're actually gonna have 25 tier zero Illuvatars in this batch. So the way it's going to work is that we're going to have 25 of these tier 0 Illuvatars in its lesser stage, which is the tier 1 stage, available for this batch and all batches moving forward. Additionally, we're going to have another 25 Illuvatars on top of that, varying from tier 1 to tier 5. So in total, we're going to have access to 50 Illuvatars in batch 1. So if you do some quick math real quick, 50 times three expressions each means a whopping 150 Illuvatars to collect for a complete collection. Guys, we are really recreating Pokemon cards all over again. I really want to collect all 150. I mean, worst case, I'm fine to kind of skip the tier zeros if that's what it really takes. But ideally, I would love to collect those as well and collect all 150. I mean, to get the first ever set, and again, tier zeros can go on forever. So that's why I say I'm not too worried about that. But in regards to the 75 tier 1 to tier 5 Illuvatars, you bet I'm going to do everything I can to try and collect that. Just the thought of this alone is making me feel like a kid again. I'm getting way too excited and it sucks because I'm now an adult with money and bills to pay. And I still know that the chance of me actually going stupid in this is very high and I know my wife is absolutely going to kill me. <laughs> this isn't confirmed and this is still being worked on and this is the UI for the purchasing page for Illuvatar discs. Let's break down a couple of things that I see here off the top and that is this right here where we can choose the quantity of discs to buy. This is awesome that we don't need to buy it one at a time. If we wanna buy 10, 15, 50 
at one time were actually able to do that, which is awesome. The other major things that I'm seeing right here are obviously the discs themselves. So a Louvatar disc comes with one random Aluvatar from tier one to tier five, and you have three accessories. And an additional thing that they haven't included here, which is why I say this page needs to be reworked, is one additional tier zero Aluvatar. So in the basic Aluvatar disc, you are going to get one Aluvatar from tier one to tier five, three accessories and one tier zero Aluvatar. So two Aluvatars and three accessories. Looking at the price as well, the price is set at 0.015 ETH, which at the time of recording, as we can see here, is about $22, which is actually pretty fair for a pack of five items. The next one up, which is the Aluvatar Mega Disc, actually comes in at 0.075 ETH, which is about that $100 mark. So it is a little bit pricier, but you do get a little bit more with that too. Louvatar from tier one to tier five, that is the same as the basic disc. You've got the same three accessories as the basic disc, but with this last one, this also needs to be changed. It's not necessarily one rare Aluvatar, but it is one rare Aluvatar or accessory. So you have the chance of getting one extra rare item and it could be an Aluvatar, and I don't know how that works. It could be tier three and up. It could be a higher chance of a, a rare expression. I'm not necessarily sure of how the back end works for that, but that is what they're leaning towards. Or because we know that Aluvatars inherently are going to be more valuable than accessories on the marketplace, if you don't get an Aluvatar, you're going to get a much rarer accessory. So it's going to be an accessory or an Aluvatar, but you don't get any tier zeros from these mega discs. Those are all the major leaks that we got about Aluvatars in the last couple of days. And man, I am excited. I am gassed beyond belief. And I cannot wait to get my hands on what's coming. Put down in the comments how excited you guys are for Aluvatars. And anyway, appreciate you guys being here. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.